Juliette Binoche is here in France. She is simply known as La Binoche. In 1996, she won the Academy Award for a role in The English Patient. Aside from acting, she has also proven herself as a dancer, as a poet, and as a painter. This month in New York, a contribution to the world of art will be celebrated with a series of events, including dance performances, a film retrospective, and the release of her new film, Paris. Here is a look at the trailer for that film. In Paris, a city of a thousand faces, everyone has a story. Je suis mad. Rassemblement, j'en ai plus pour très longtemps, enfin. Pourquoi tu m'en as pas parlé avant Parce que c'est pas un truc que t'as envie de dire à tout le monde. Oui, mais justement, je suis pas tout le monde. Tu t'embêtes pas trop tout seul, euh, ce que tu fais de tes journées Je regarde les autres vivre. Je me pose des questions sur eux. Qui ils sont Où ils vont Ils deviennent des sortes de héros d'histoire que je m'invente. Watching the lives of others opens the world around him. Je suis amoureux, j'ai l'impression d'avoir 15 ans. Et alors, tu, tu l'as abordé Pire. Je lui ai envoyé un texto. Tu lui as écrit quoi T'es belle. Je te kiffe trop. Tu crois qu'elle a un mec Ah, il y a des chances. Pourquoi t'en as pas Ton mon âge, c'est plus, c'est pas... Ta vie, elle est loin d'être finie. Ça se trouve, elle a même pas encore vraiment commencé. Vous êtes tous ce matin Oui, on me cachait, j'ai pas vraiment dormi. Et ben on est deux. Ben, ça se voit. <rire> C'est bien d'être amoureux. Si, si. Bah, à bientôt, j'espère. Merci, j'espère. I am pleased to have Juliette Binoche back at this table. Welcome. Thank you. Tell me what it's about. I hmm. mean, you play Elise, uh, who comes to see her brother with your three children. And she finds out that mm, he's sick. He's dying. He's dying. And uh, and so, uh, actually, she sees her, her life in a different way after that, because uh, he's like a mirror of life. Like you, you, you've got to make your life happy. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. going to do it for you. And, but and he's thinking about how he'll spend the time between, and he understands his immortality and or his mortality. Yeah, exactly. And and she's got my character is caught up in between, you know, kids, work. Lack of mm -hmm. money, lack of time, stress of cities and all that. And, and then finally she's going to learn through her brother's um, experience, uh, uh, the, the, the treasure of life, uh, another way of living, and giving back some kind of hopes and, and, and a boyfriend. But you have, uh, like, uh, so many different characters in this film, you know, and different stories that cross each other's. And, and mm -hmm. so it's... Uh, it's the Cédric Lapiche uh, Paris, you know, yeah. as you have other Paris. There's Hanukkah, Paris is different, as you know, Hashem yeah. Shen is different. So it's, it's interesting it's to see. It's his Paris, this it's is the his director Paris. of Cédric. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It is a cinematic love letter, someone said, to Paris. Yes, but it, 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 I think it's true for any city because you have so many memories. You know, each corner reminds you of this love you lost, or this love, the first kiss, or the first betrayal, the first whatever. So it becomes the map of, the map of your heart somehow. And so you, you go from one place to the next one, and it's always inside of you related to a very specific emotion and, and, and thought and, and sensation as well. So uh, Paris, you know, also it's, it's, uh, it's the city of lovers. Of course, uh, and so city of uh, lights and love. Yeah, and arts as well. So there's a, there's a lot about that in this film. Uh, you had have always had an interesting relationship with directors. How was it with Cedric? Uh, actually, I wrote a poem about him, yes. and uh, and I did a, a portrait of him as well. Just talk about that moment because we will show a picture of the book uh, in which you paint portraits of directors and of yourself. Right. And write poems. 
of myself in a movie and a yeah. specific character I played. And actually, I didn't know how I was going to come up. But the fact of entering into this memory with the brush and the ink, I was surprised myself, you know, how it came out. Because I, the idea was to jump into it without knowing, without having a mental decision in, my, in, in, in me. But I would always start with eyes. So that's why I was very keen on calling this book uh, uh, Portrait in Eyes. Eyes. Because if the eyes were not um, intense enough or deep enough or related to this, uh, to this place, for each, each one had a different place, then I would you know, throw it away and start again, again. Has your relationship with directors evolved? You know, are you different today in what you, how you see them, how you expect them, the level of the intimacy and all of that? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you know actors. <laughs> well, you've got to yes, have I a do. little bit of animal in you because otherwise you can't you can't go. But I said it. it nicely, did not a level of intimacy. <laughs> you've you've got to do and be everything as actors. You've got yeah. to be an animal as much as an angel, as yeah. much as a, an intellectual, as much as a, a doer, a maker, as much yeah. as a. You've got to transform all the time, and directors allow you with their ears and their eyes to transform and you've, if you have a wonderful relationship with a director it's like flying off it's like learning about yourself and, <laughs> it frequently is <laughs> and, and, and really flying yeah. I had this feeling of flying several times on, on, on a shooting and it's very very special and if you don't have that it makes it a miserable experience not always you've got to be patient and work in a different way sideways you know not being being too frontal yeah. Because there's something in the alchemy of, of shooting, uh, a sort of, um, it takes you. And it, it's got to take you. Otherwise, if you, you mentalize everything, it doesn't work. For me, it's, uh, I'm, I can't make decisions with my, with my mind. I, I do it, I play it, then I know whether it's right or wrong. But it's the body saying the truth. It's not my mind. But are you more open today than you've ever been to all of that because you are a more... <laughs> confident soul? Uh, I'd say that I experience with so many different minds and hearts and and sometimes crazy, sometimes too <laughs> perfect yes. and ra I, I prefer craziness as too rational and so too conventional, I have to say, because craziness allows you to uh, to dare and I love daring because otherwise why? <laughs> and that's been the nature of your life. Uh, I think you've got, a sh you've got a, a check on you because we tend to repeat ourselves and go to habits. But to take different angles allow allows you to, uh, to, be, to be fresh again, spontaneous, and, and going to the new. Because we all want to go to the new, you know, to dangerous places where you don't know what's going to be the next step. Because otherwise, why? You know, then you change, you do, you do something else. But is fear a part of your life then? Because you it's fear the new. It's fear part of my you life. You like it. I you like it. the gamble. You like the risk. You like because I the chance. I like the transformation. Because that, for me, acting is about transforming. And I think Becoming that our something art, else. Transforming? No, no, I'd say it's peeling off. So being naked. There's a nakedness I'm, I'm, I love about any arts. Because when you get into this, in sort of this empty space, I'd call it, uh, then you're in, another tr you're in your true self. And that's where I've, I've found the fascination of, of, uh, of uh, you know, the dance or the, the painting, is that there's a place where you, it's not about yourself, it's not about your will, it's about something that's going to take you and guide you. That's the amazing thing. This is something you were born with. This is not something you learned, is it? I've, I mean, you were like this as a kid. Yes, but it's, you can feel it. And it, can grow. and it can grow. And then you, you grow with it and you learn. Because I made mistakes and thank God I made them because I learned from them. But then after that, the more you're going, the more you, 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 you know, no, this I've done, I, I'm not going to do it again. This, you know. Do you look back at all? Well, this retrospective of films, you know, at BAM is actually some kind of a looking back. But I wanted to do this exhibition of portraits and writing. Uh, uh, poems were well, actually at the beginning. They were not poems. They were just letters. Yeah. And then I took off some words and it became poems. poems yes. <laughs> so it, it became <laughs> poems by itself, I'd say. But I wanted to say something to them because the first impulse I had writing was to write to Kislovsky and yeah. to Antony Mingala and to the people Two former directors who I really who, loved and, right. and, 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 and are gone. 
and I, I, I felt the emerge, you know, uh, 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 an urge of, of telling, uh, of, of saying but, something. But it seems to me that just reading about you and knowing you a bit from all these interviews we've done over the years, mm -hmm. that there is this sense of adventure and that you have chosen to l almost like your heart has dictated what you do rather than your mind. Yeah. That you have not been someone that said, how do I create a career? You've basically said, how do I go out and be an artist in my own mind? And how do I go out and have fun and explore and be curious but and I'm do not, think... Well, I'm not surprised the heart is in the middle of our body because it's actually the well, yes. reflection <laughs> of, and of another place. That's what I believe. It's the body, certainly, and, and, and we live because of that space. But I, I believe that if the mind is related to the heart, the mind tells you and so creative, but you've got to relate it into your heart and body. No, where does it begin, the heart because or the, the mind? The problem is when you started to, to, to <laughs> yes. cut yourself into pieces, then you're, you're off. You're off yourself. Yeah. So that's the, 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 but you're right, the trigger is the heart. But you have no regrets, do you? I don't even think of that word. Exactly, that's so my what point. what does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> do I have regrets? I must have some regrets, but... I don't see them as regrets, but as as. In other words, you may have made choices that were not the right choice, but you don't look back and say, "Oh, damn, that no, was, I screwed that up." No, because you plunge with it. You've, yeah. you've got to plunge into yeah, it, exactly. and, and you make mistakes, and that's part of it. Now, when you undertook dance, mm -hmm. tell me how that began. Well, there's a one wonderful story about your masseuse's husband was a producer. Right. True? Well, the masseuse had her, her, her elbow in my back <laughs> and, you know, really tuning, oh, yes. turning in my back as yes. she loves to do uh, because she does. She had Sue and quite painful yes. and she said, you and want you to like dance? That? And you like that? No, I don't. But actually, I know <laughs> after I like it. Yes. And so uh, she said, uh, do, you, yes. do you want to dance? And Pain I just down. like, you know, the face down like this. Yes. Oh, she said you want to dance? And yeah, I was, uh, my, my, you know, yeah, on my right. belly. Right. And so... Um, and she said, in, in and I said yes. And then after that, she invited me to see Ephraim Kant's uh, Zero right, Degree. Right. And then I loved it, and we sat together, and uh, and there was a and sort he, of yeah. a sort of a silence, you know, an intense silence, because we didn't know how to start with somehow. And then they invited me to to do like three days uh, uh, in trying things. And so for the, those three days, uh, it was interesting because the first day was about, you know, him showing me movement Movements. and stuff. Mm. And at the end, I said, I'm sorry, you know, it's not a dance. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. I think yes. we've got to I'll start a... from the unknown, which is from starting from nothing. Right. And so it meant nothing? What do you mean by nothing, you know, as a choreographer? Yeah, but were you doing other things while you were doing this, or was this an obsessive two-year project? No, uh, it was obsessive. It was difficult because uh, uh, you, you've got to train your body and, and breath and all that. But what I discovered, uh, it was my energy. You know, there's the muscle world with the tendons, the yeah. ligaments, the right. bones and <laughs> yeah. all that. And there's the energy that takes us. And, and uh, I discovered through a wonderful uh, Chinese master, um, Zi Xing Wang, he's a Qigong master. Yeah. And he actually working with the chi protected yeah, this is my after body. after the dance thing no, started. While, That's what I while thought. I was yeah, doing it, right. working with Akram and, and, and Suman, my, my trainer, and creating it, yeah. um, I had to have a, a second life somehow in order to protect myself because <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't survive because we were touring for six months, you know, and going to 12 different places. And New York yeah. is our last t venue uh, after we're going back to and Paris. And you'll be at the Brooklyn us. Academy of Music. Yeah. How long? How many performances? We've done 80, 80 performances, and we've, we've got 20. So are you more in touch with your body? The discovery of the body has been, has been a wonderful, wonderful journey. What have you discovered? The chi, the energy I was telling you about. Oh, and also chi, that uh, you've, got to, you've got to trust your body. It's going to transform bit yes. by bit. Yes. And there are moments of you know, blurriness. Uh, I was, sometimes I was really literally blurry. I couldn't see, and I was couldn't remember. The memory thing is crazy, you know. When you've got to repeat a, 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 a movement, you can't remember anything. Uh, but after a while, it just uh, came. Uh, uh, and uh, and but you, it's true. Every every night is a new discovery in it because the the beginning has a certain quality, and and it, it's a transformation show. So it depends. You make a lot of movies. Do don't I? you? How many do you make a year? 
Well, it depends on the years. You know, I, I, it took me two and a half years to, to make one movie, the yeah. Les Amants du Pont-Neuf, but right. in, uh, in 11 months I did five films. Exactly. So it that depends was my on